Hello everybody, welcome back to another Rivals video, and this time I am... I just... Can I just say, like, I... I, I I've, I've just... This context of this video... The context for this video, right? I've just done my RTL series, right? And I'm still a little giddy um, with the result. Um, and I'm wanting to show off some games. For, or the, the, you know, fuck it. The entire, the entire games. All the games. The entire series, right? The entire BO5. BF3. Was it BF3? Yeah, it was BF3. Okay. But still, all the games. Because they were all good. Um... And I'll just mention, like, and, and I'll just like, talk a bit, like, how what I what I did in every match and stuff like that, because I thought that might be really cool. And can I just say that my opponent reset all? He's a fucking Chad. He's he's such a nice lad and everything. And uh, yeah, he's, <laughs> you you'll probably find out why later. So first off, first first replay because I think this is worth showing personally because these are good, right? I think this is. Uh, this is definitely YouTube worthy, probably tournament worthy, but whatever. Anyway, first game. So, we started off with Sandbar. Um, I think that was the map that was picked, like, because, like, our first matchup, you get an assigned map. Then any subsequent maps you get, uh, you choose, like, the loser chooses. So, whoever loses this game gets to choose the next map. Um, what I did, what we did here is that my opponent played... Uh, the classy Chuggy Inferno, best deck in the game currently, um, and I play pick this deck here. Wait, oh you know, is that all right? I got them swapped around. I got them swapped around. I pick the Inferno deck because look, there's my name. Shut up. And then I, then my opponent picks this, which is the uh, Talon Razorback deck. Now I don't think that deck is good because I hate the fact that you've got two aircraft anti-infantry units. I would most preferably pick shocks, right? But, you know, if he's comfortable with that, he's comfortable with that. Um, the trouble was, uh, is that I, this, for right now, is that I've got a big rifle war going on. I'm trying to get my chog in. There's obviously a tank. The tank's the, mo the biggest problem here. So I want to be able to get rid of that as quickly as possible. And there's also a pipple there as well. So I want to be able to make sure that it doesn't get my chuggy. That chuggy's really important. Um, I'm trying to be, like, aggressive, get in as soon as I can, but don't try and sacrifice my units and things like that, you know? It's like, it didn't really work because he boosted the tank and I lost it and everything. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'm the one with the Inferno. I get my first Inferno out, I believe. Oh, uh, it's going well because I'm now able to have an upper hand. I don't know why I fired on this Rifleman, though. That's a bit of a mistake, honestly. But I'm still glad I got the, the bikes over there on the pad. Um... I didn't even have enough time to uh, get that reloaded before it died, sadly. I really thought I would have gotten that pitbull as well. Look at how they, both pitbulls take a single missile to kill. And that annoyed me a little bit because I could have potentially gotten that missile. But whatever, you know, it, it is what it is. At least I've gotten my, uh, my, aircraft, uh, my aircraft building out. So I'll be able to make infernos and then I'll be able to put them on the field, win the game, maybe. But there's only if I can actually keep them alive with my micro and things. Bike takes way too much damage here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But again, like, I'm putting the chuggy first. I really... I don't know what I'm doing. Like, why am I not putting it away? Who knows? I'm, 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 I had many, many stupid moments um, doing some of these games. But then my opponent brings Talon and Missile Squad down. I try to deal with the Talons. Talons were such a ball ache for me. Because any time uh, an Inferno came out, my opponent would just rush the Inferno. At this stage, yes, you know, like, eight feet is reasonable to do that, because so long as there isn't, there's just one Inferno, you can put your opponent back so far if you just kill the Inferno. And I'm lucky I got this double kill, by the way. I thought he would have moved out of the way, um, especially because there was a Chuggy on the way, uh, on, onto the top pad. But, yeah, I, I got that. Um, and here, I, I wasn't able to breach the bottom pad, so I go top, and then I rush an Inferno down to bottom pad. This doesn't always work. But, yeah, Pibble went off the pad for a split second and I got that missile. That was really lucky. Again, he had that. It, it, it's just a bit of a misplay on his part. So now, third missile. I've got two Talons and a Razorback to deal with. I've got no way to kill them because I'm not playing with a Phantom. I'm playing with a Stealth Tank. But I never really thought Stealth Tank was actually a good idea. Because bikes are cheap enough and they are... The, the, they have enough damage to kill light aircraft, right? If I wanted to kill predators or anything, I'd use Inferno, and I'd just spam bikes for basically everything else. 
So that's what I did. It's just bike inferno all the time. But I let that die. I mean, there wasn't really much I can do because that inferno was nearly dead that entire game. Um, predator turn comes down. Um, I don't move the bikes at all. Okay, now I need to move them. But again, they still was, that was such a delayed reaction. And what's this laser squad heading up to the top pad? No idea why. It's just fucking going into the razor back to die. I suppose it was because I knew the Predator Titan was up there. But there was... I, I, I don't know whether that was the intention because all I see is that there's a massive mistake. Um, I'm trying to just uh, go around the uh, the talent here. I'm trying to chase down the Pred and make sure the talent doesn't get that Inferno that just died, but obviously didn't make it. There's my first stealth tank. I'm not sure whether that was the right play, but I guess it was because stealth tanks are a bit tankier than bikes. I just managed to kill the infantry that I'm them and then I win the missile. Honestly, kind of lucky. Kind of lucky because we both, I think it's probably because we both made some mistakes that game. But I swear I made more there. And that's why I think I'm lucky because I could have easily lost that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad I won it anyway. That flip was, felt nice to execute at the third missile. So, eh, what, what, what else, what else can I say? Okay, so now I'm the GDI player, and I'm picking Jackson for this. Ugh, pardon me. So, my opponent picked Broken Mesa, which meant that oh, this map is going to have excellent uh, two, two range unit like abilities. Like I'm, I'm going to be bringing one along, and it's going to fare quite well on this map. And so that's what I did. I got myself an MLRS. And it's basically just by GDI, but I just replaced the tank with the MLRS. I thought that would be really good. I think that's one of the better decks for GDI, considering GDI doesn't really have a have any kind of crutches anymore. Not even the Pitbull, because the Pitbull's just bad. But yeah, seeing as I was going to go into this rifle engagement here, um, you know, I just decided to make a shot trooper because that meant I could break up the rifle war a bit, and if they, if he, if he magically made a third one, I would also be able to punish him because I made a shock, and there were like two other squads that were damaged, so I could have dealt, dealt some good damage there. Um, Inferno comes around, very fast Inferno, and very scary as well, because I didn't know what to do here, like I hadn't gotten any hammerheads, so it, 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 it was like, it was balls to the walls basically, I, I really didn't know what to do. Um, I think this, my, my opponent just tried to uh, desperately get onto that pad here to just uh, stall a bit. Didn't really work, but it is first missile, so some, something else could happen. Like he could get some, uh, he can get some wild units on the pad. At this point, I was thinking, oh, he's still got the same deck because all I've seen the, so far is what he played last time. So oh, it's, it's going to be fine, really. I don't have to worry about Phantom. Um, but hey, yeah, another Kferno comes out, and this is unfortunately where I made an MLRS because I was I was expecting bikes, so that the uh, so that Kferno was kind of protected, even though I had many infantry, which uh, I'm not sure why I made one, but I guess I guess it felt opportune at the time because I had a lot of control over the main and top pads, so I thought I had I already had like four units here, which is soon to be a lot less, but still I have control. I can put an MLRS down safely. I can keep it alive. If Elo comes round, kills mostly uh, blocking units, I try to hammerhead out to try and chase it away, so that means I, I do in fact do that. And unfortunately, I'm not able to kill these bloody bikes, which is such a misplay from me. And then I just let my opponent take the missile, <laughs> because I didn't get onto the bottom pad in time. I, I cannot believe I was off that bottom pad for most of the game, like off my home pad. It's a, a little insane, considering that I always had the ability to go there. Um, yeah, but a bit hysterical on the metal pad there, I could have really done, uh, lost a lot of units there, but thankfully I managed to um, break that formation up a bit. Um, I was trying to get one missile on this Inferno, and he had a fully loaded shot. Unfortunately, didn't manage to kill it um, before that got launched, so I had to uh, suffer the consequences there. Another Inferno shot goes off. Pipple comes in as well, and I, I, I think it's at this point they make a tank? Yeah, so I wasn't expecting the tank. And I thought, oh, I might, I might actually die here because MLRS will just get killed, like, instantly. So I've really not got much, much of a shot here. Um, but I try. And as I hoped, he would target the Pitbulls first. It means my MLRS could get in. I would scare his tank away, but it still wouldn't. It still meant that I had Infernos to deal with. Like, what am I going to do against two Infernos? That's insane. Um, now, he kills that, but he does. He ends up killing his bikes, and that's what saved me. That was 
Yeah, that, that was so lucky. So, so lucky. Um, I mean, oh my god. I, was, I thought I thought I was going to lose that, but I, uh, I mean, he killed his own bikes, and that, that saved me in that game, so... I, I, again, considering myself lucky, I mean, <laughs> that's going to be a theme for this, I think. Alright, so we're both going uh, the decks that we're most comfortable with. Um, and this one, uh, my opponent's going to have the Inferno uh, Phantom deck that has the tank in it, which is okay, I think. I personally would not have chosen that, but I suppose if you're not going to be able to reach Inferno, then you might want to have a tank, but at the same time, the whole point of having an Inferno is to build it eventually. So again, I don't understand why the tank's in there. But regardless, it still proves a, a massive pain in various parts of my body when he plays that. And bikes come down. Obviously, I was going to make a chuggy, but then bikes, and then no, I'm, I can't make bikes. I can't make chuggy anymore. So I make my own bikes. I sort the units, make sure that I got uh, some pads under control, and then we just have a massive bike war, as you do. Like this is the natural course of things. Um, and then this just goes on for a few minutes, and it's just back and forth bike spam. I um, mean, because like, what, what else can not do? It's just bike spam. As brainless as this strategy is, it works so well, and that is sad to say, but that's that is how uh, not has always been. It's just bike spam. I, I, not always. Not it's not all bike spam, but the but the strategy has always worked in every sense. It it's better now than it usually is because of the economy change. Because uh, beforehand, pitbulls beat bikes quite a lot. Now they don't. And so bikes are actually stronger for this. And I make a mistake here. I didn't actually block on the bottom on the uh, on the bottom right pad. Um, and that meant the missile went on for longer. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, I should have expected him to do that. But thankfully, if that, militant, if, that militant, if that militant stayed on that pad, he would have been able to stall. He may, he may, may have been able to win it, to be honest, because... That needed well, one Merton could have killed that bike because the bike that was on the top left pad was on so little health. I think it didn't matter that they had like one tiny unit there. I, I, he could have done something. Um, but yeah, I, I went the first missile. It's not going too great. I made too many bikes. Tank takes a bit of a beating here, but uh, I mean, I'm out of I'm out of units. Like I'm bringing lasers up, but it's going to be too late. And then the vehicle split up, there comes some militants, and I don't know why I make a bike here, like, there's no point, I should have made a chuggy. And then, I mean, I see that, but like, nah, not this one, but afterwards, I do a stupendously massive misplay. Like, honestly massive misplay. Two chuggies! Two chuggies! I'm not sure why I made two chuggies, I'm sure I was uh, trying to find the bikes button, because I play ho with hotkeys, so I must have, mm, I, I must have... Press the wrong button, and I didn't send the chuggy down to my home pad. What? Is, what's? What's up? What's up with that? I don't. Oh, I don't know what's happening, honestly. Um, but yeah, there's a stealth tank, and I, obviously the stealth tank is there to counter the infernos. But how am I going to do that when I'm, you know, going to end up getting that killed? Um, he's got three infernos out. Like I, I need. What I should have done is get the bikes to go and absorb a shot. But I didn't do that because I'm a silly. I kept thinking that he was going to move his lasers up and then it was going to be visible. But it doesn't matter because lasers see the stealth tank anyway. Um, tank comes around and I'm just making, I'm just, I'm just spamming bikes. And I think, do you know what? This isn't actually working. But it's like I shouldn't have got, let him get to this point in the game. Like he's got loads of infernos and I haven't got a phantom that would have been useful at this stage. And I, just, I can't do anything, so I just surrender. So yeah. I shouldn't have let it get to that stage, but I did, so, yeah. That's, that's just on me. Right, game number four. This this one's even worse. Can, I, I'll just spoil it. This one's even worse. Like, I made... I made this, this is the worst I think I've ever done recently on Rivals, because I don't... None of the plays make sense. I just send my, most of my units to die. As you will be seeing here in a minute. But, yeah, I'll do the classic thing of send them, send them them down bottom and things. Um, and, yeah, maybe I should have done the same. I guess that's the way to play this map. Because if you go top, if you put both militants on top of them, the opponent will just take bottom pads. Every time. 
And then because they're split up, that means they're more likely to get the other militants killed. So that they're not clumped together, so that you may win a wife for war. And look how many units they, that he, he keeps alive. It's just ridiculous. All because I didn't play the map properly. I knew there was bikes as well, and I still made a chuggy. And I thought, oh, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to put the chuggy on here. Um, I was hoping to get it on the pad before he made another bike. Was not successful. And then I had some micro issues. And then my chuggy died. And I thought, well, I'm losing this missile, and I guess we'll just give up. Um, I lose a missile. That's it. And the tank comes out, and I'm thinking, well, how the hell do I tackle this? I've got no lasers, I've got just got bikes, and the laser's coming down there, and I've got no anti-infantry now. Oh, boy. I've just dug myself a massive hole. So, yeah, look at this. Look, I, I have to move the bikes away. I, I can't get a shot off, because then my bikes would be damaged. Oh, man, oh, that's awful. And I tried to send my lasers around top. I really didn't care at this point. I thought, you know, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. This is how... The, okay. To preface a bit, this is how it always goes for me, because whenever I'm on a winning streak with anything, but especially rivals, what happens is that I make increasingly bad plays like that, and then I don't win the game. I end up, I need like one game, I need one more win to win that set, and then it doesn't happen, and then my opponent wins all the other games, and then I am so furious with myself because I could have won and I did not win and I was so close and that's that's exactly how I thought this was going to go as well because all the signs were there every single time whenever I'm on a streak it just I just lose everything I I don't know why I sabotage myself so so much it's it is ingrained in my psyche I can't necessarily stop it and I hate it I don't necessarily know the fix for this but, you know, we're going on to the last game. Um, and this is at the point where I thought, oh, you know, I, I'm going to contact my opponent and just give them the win. Because, you know, uh, it's, it's not actually going to be beneficial for me to keep playing. Um, so what I did, I, I, just, I just DM'd and said, you know, I'm like, I'm, look, if you, if you want the win, go ahead. Go have the win. I don't really care. And, and, but he said, no, you know, you're this close. You may as well just try the last game. Even though I perfectly knew... It, <laughs> Perfectly, it's not really that perfect, but even though I ha was so uh, was 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 so definite in my opinion that you know it was going to be ending with me being sad and losing the set as usual, but no, he said no, you just carry on. We'll see if you lose. You know, you've gone this far. You may as well play the last game. And I thought, oh, fine, okay, I'll play the last game. I won't be I won't be uh, awkward or anything. So then we'll you know this is where we're at now, and. Uh, Again, both Nod, because Nod's better faction, and, yeah, um, to say this this was a climactic end to the game is, I think, a little underst understatement, a little bit of an understatement, because I, I just, oh, I was shaking throughout this entire game, and this is not even a tournament, this is just RTL, it's meant for some fun and everything, but... I hate losing. I, I'm such a sore loser. It's unreal. Like, give me like half an hour afterwards, and I'm fine. And I'm fine. Like, I'm a normal, happy person. You can you can talk to me without sending me into a flying rage and wanting to murder several people. But I hate losing games. Absolutely, and uh, that is why one weakness out of many. But still, it's it's like. And I know how to play the game. I don't know why I'm losing. And it's I know it's not all formulaic. And it's there's there's hardly any fun knowing absolutely every variable and, and what the outcomes are going to be like and everything. But you know, it's like why why take all the fun out of it? I don't know. But yeah, here's me trying to get on the bloody pad. It didn't work. I tried to do do a bit of a do a bit of a bait and switch. But it didn't work, because, you know, my opponent's not an idiot. They've played the game for years, so they, they saw that. I'm still setting bikes down, and I know exactly what he's going to do now. Like, I know I know the game plan. So he's going to, yeah, he's going to pull an Inferno out, so I'm expecting this at this point. I'm thinking, right, I'm, I'm going to go Inferno. I've not made Inferno for the past two games, right? So I need that out. That's the entire point why I brought this. Do the five, you, five card deck doesn't work when you don't have the main one. The Inferno with the point. So I make an Inferno, I make a Militant, because I want to deal with the lasers, or push them back at the very least. And then I just spend bikes. That is the thing I need to do. So long as I can get some units out, and protect the Inferno, 
a lot of wealth. Having more units means that I will be more likely to protect the Inferno. That's the that's the thing. Um, but yeah, lasers, very nearly dead. I, I boost the Inferno because I want to be able to kill stuff. Like, I want to be able to get an advantage. Bikes pass over here, and I thought, oh, I need to get them, I need to get them. Inferno attacks the militants. It, that hurt me, but it's not horrendous because I still have the pads. My opponent's uh, doing a good job of making loads of bikes and putting, putting me under a lot of pressure. And for some reason, you know, make, made a rookie mistake here. It didn't block the the back pad. But I somehow managed to win that missile and prevent the bikes coming from coming onto his home pad, which is insane because I thought I'd lost that just because I didn't block. But like, it is, that should have been so obvious at the time. I don't know why I didn't do it, but regardless, I still win the missile. So it was at this point I thought, no fucking way, I cannot win this. If I win this, I'm going. To, I'm just going to cry. I, spoiler alert, I didn't actually cry, but you know, it was it was something along those lines, and it was it was I was so I was so adamant that I was going to lose this. I'm still thinking I'm going to lose this, and it's like, oh yeah, I win a missile, but that means nothing because the game's not ended. But you know, I'm, I just I know I'm going to lose, but I may as well play well anyway because there's some integrity to playing well, and I, I don't want to spoil that. So I play well, and uh, here we go. We've got some bikes coming up. I made some mistakes. Like my bikes are in the fire. I just managed to get them out in time, um, and then look, we've got, we've got the final missile. The final missile, and both players are spamming, and I'm spitting as well. And I apologise for that. But the lasers trying to come down, they get blocked instantly. And I thought, oh my god, I've got loads of space. Yes, I'm going. To oh my god, I'm going to win. And then missile fires, and I can gladly call myself a victor in that BO3. Or first of three. I'm not sure how, uh, which one would be better to describe it. But there you go. And I was ready to give that game up, by the way. I was ready to give that game up. But no. I mean, uh, my opponent just, just, just told me to go on. And I did. And I kind of regret doing it. But I kind of don't at the same time. I'm not sure how I feel about it exactly. But honestly, I'm glad they pushed me to do this. Because that was a good game. That was a very, very good game. So... Thank you, Reset All, for uh, getting me to play the last game. I mean, it, it honestly, I know like it means nothing in the grand scheme of things because this is just a video game. But yeah, oh man, it was. Uh, you know, I, I just thought I was gonna lose all those games. So yeah, hopefully these games were kind of enjoyable for everyone. Um, I just thought that this would be a very good time to share some replays. Um, and obviously, I don't generally do this because a lot of the games are like whatever. Who cares really? But I think this is. This speaks volumes, um, honestly, because if this... I, I just imagine if this was some kind of an actual tournament, this would be really entertaining. So this is why, I, mostly why I thought this would be, make a good video. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Um, I'm now going to take a drink because my mouth is both incredibly dry and filling up with saliva. So I don't want to be spitting anymore. <laughs> but, yeah. Thanks, Reese, all for pushing me through to the final game. Very GG's. What a, what a brilliant player. Honestly, fantastic to play against. And those games were amazing. So, hopefully you had fun as well, dear viewer. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye for now.